So far, I've been running the containers out of the images which were already pre-created and available on Docker Hub. In this example, I'm going to show you how to create an image out of an application. This is the application code, which uh, is a C application. It's a sample application, but has a, a UI as well. And I'm going to show you, there are a couple of approaches to create an image. In this approach, I'm going to create a container, make manual changes, install this application and take a snapshot, which will be my image. So the first thing that I do is clone this application from the GitHub repository that uh, I was showing you there. And now I'm launching an application uh, or launching an image with Ubuntu because this application, the instructions uh, mention Ubuntu as a base operating system. The instructions are given here. The OS is Ubuntu on top of that. I need to install some build packages, add the source code and compile it. So I'm using Docker container run hyphen IDT, provide a name called as FP. This application runs on port 16,000. That's what I saw in the Docker documentation. So I'm just exposing that port in advance. You cannot change the port mapping later. So it's important to do that in advance. I just launched it with shell that is bash and I'm going to connect to it using docker exec hyphen it the name of the container or the ID of the container and shell that is bash. And now that I'm connected here, first thing that I need are the utilities to build that application, which includes make, build essential, etc. So those are the prerequisite which I have to take care of. This uses Ubuntu and it needs these packages. The instructions to install these prerequisite are also given there using AppKit. I have already started AppKit update. I'm going to run the Docker uh, AppKit install and then start building that application using the make utility. So I'm just running this uh, command without sudo because I'm already root inside that container. And this is going to start uh, running the command to install all the prerequisite application, which includes make GCC and the rest of the utilities that I would need to compile a C application. So I just verified that I have the build utilities. Now that I have the build utilities, next thing that I'm going to need is the source code to build it. So I just exit that. This is where my source code is. I'm outside the container on the host and I'm using Docker CP. You can also use Docker container CP, Facebook as that complete directory inside this container that I created with name FP. I'm, I've just copied that inside OPT directory. Now I connected back to the container using exec. And if I switch to opt directory, I already see the source code. I have the source code. I have the build utilities available as well. I can start compiling that application now using this instruction that is make all. I'm already in the Facebook directory. I just run make all, which is going to compile that. It shows some warning because the code is slightly older, but it's nothing to worry about because it has created the binary, which is here. And I'm going to launch it using a relative path from this directory that is bin Facebook. It's launched on port 16,000. So if I go back to my servers, IP colon 16,000, this is the application that I see. It's already been launched here. And that's it. So now that I have the application installed, I can just commit the container that I created and updated to an image. This is just like VM when you create, start a VM, make changes and then take a snapshot, which becomes your image. So this time around, I noted the container ID and I'm using Docker container commit command. So you can commit, create an image, from a container's changes using docker commit. You can also look at the changes using docker diff command. So if you look at docker diff, these are all the changes, including the make GCC utility, as well as my application, which has been installed. If you use docker diff, it shows you the complete diff between the image and the container that you started with. I'm going to commit that container into an image using docker container commit command. And to the commit command, I provide an option that is container ID and the tag. This is important and the tag will include your own docker hub id don't use the one that I, that you see on the screen that is important don't use init cron that's my id you would have to create your doc own docker hub id and then use that slash facebook is my repository colon v1 if you don't have the repository on docker hub that's fine it will automatically edit it and commit is a local action so it has created an image locally if i list it using docker image ls i see that image being created i can also get the uh, you know the history which shows me the url uh, sorry the layers of that image 
and I'm going to push that image to the registry. In order to do that, first I need to log in. So I use Docker login, which will log me into Docker Hub registry. I would use my username that is already created on Docker Hub. If you don't have the user ID on Docker Hub, please make sure you have one before you commit. And now I'm going to push, before you push rather, push that image using Docker image push command with my tag, which includes the username that is namespace repository and tag username slash Facebook repository colon tag that is v1. So it's the version one of the image that I have, which is been now published to the Docker Hub. And once this is complete, you can go to Docker Hub, go log into your user ID and you will see that image published available. So I'm already logged in with my user ID. And if I go to the repository Facebook, I see version one published just about a minute ago. This is the first approach. In the next approach, we're going to start using the Docker file, which is more programmatic and automate or automatable approach.